Hey, Wax Friends. Happy Saturday morning. Uh, I am up and going early today. I have on real clothes. Um, doesn't usually happen on Saturday mornings, but I had to get a package to the post office. Um, my nephew was at my mom's this morning, so I wanted to see him before his mom picked him up. Uh, went to our little local coffee shop. It's called Ugly Mugs. Got Brad a caramel frappe, and, and I drink a... Um, from our coffee shop, I get a, they call it a butterbeer latte. It's just, it's really kind of sweet. I'm really shocked I like it because I usually don't drink real sweet coffee drinks, but I love this. This is my drink from, from our coffee shop here in town and got to support it because I mean, these small towns, you know, if we get something like a coffee shop, we want to, we want to keep it. Um, and it's a great place. It's really a, a neat little coffee shop. So I have today. Um, a Scentsy party close out and I'm looking at my stacks of wax and once again I can't figure out what what I was thinking I don't know why I ordered some of this stuff I mean it's good don't get me wrong I'm gonna use it I know that but I, I don't know what was going on in my head which I say that a lot in videos anymore don't I um, okay so let's get started I had a little bit of extra, you know, the party hostess credit cash left. And so I was going to grab a, an extra bulb. And I did, but I grabbed a 20 watt bulb. I don't know that I own a 20 watt warmer. I don't know what the hell I think during these. I mean, and this was just a party closeout. I mean, I had all freaking day and night to place my order. And I still act like, you know, I'm on the clock and I'm being timed. But anyway, I have a 20 watt bulb. So I'll have to look around and see if any of my warmers take the 20 watt. If not, I'm sure there's somebody in town that can use it. So, okay. So I got a bundle and save of the Scent Soft. I have never had the Scent Soft before and I've now heard that they are gonna discontinue it. So I grabbed the bundle. I grabbed a pink cotton and I have all the laundry in these scents except for the Scent Soft. I grabbed the Scentsy Clean and I grabbed Clothesline. And I need to start using this one because this, I think Clothesline is the laundry that I have open. And I have the widths and the detergent and the bars. So now I have the Scent Soft to go with that. So I got that as one of my half price. And then the rest is um, wax. So let's see. Okay. I grabbed a bar of Welcome Home. I've never had this unless I had it years and years ago now, because I think this has been around a long time. Um, warm, welcoming cinnamon and spice. And that's exactly what it is. It's, it's nothing, um, yeah, it's just a cinnamon spice type scent. So, got that. I grabbed a Velvet Moon. Vanilla Flower, White Musk, and Foggy Mist. Um, I like this. I think I have one of these already. But I really like this, actually. Probably a bedroom. Well, definitely a bedroom bathroom scent for me. I grabbed an Amazon Rain. I've never melted this. I did get some bars that probably everyone's like, okay, those have been around for years. Why have you not tried those? But I haven't. So, Amazon Rain is melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and jasmine. And this is really pretty too. I don't know, I think I do have one of these already. I would love to be able to use this in my open concept. Um, is, this, is this a strong bar? I mean, it, it smells like it would probably be best in my closed off bedroom, but does anyone have any um, experience with this? Does it, does it throw well? Like I said, you know, my open is huge, tall ceiling, so. Uh, let's see. Okay, here's another one. Luna, I don't know that I've ever melted this unless, like I said, it was years and years ago. Jasmine, sweet pea, freesia, berries, and sandalwood. Yeah, Luna's beautiful. Um, once again, you know, just like I did in the flash sale, got a lot of bars that I'm thinking are going to be bedroom scents. 
Why do I do that? I don't know. But got some Luna. I grabbed a Very Merry Cranberry. And I think I grabbed this. I think I have a mixer. I wanted that I saw somebody use. Red Winter Berry Snow Covered Cedar. I got my, my little cow, uh, book here. Um, I really thought somebody had done a mixer. Oh, no, that was Berry Blessed. I don't have a berry blessed. Darn. Okay. But anyway, um, you know, this is nice. I do like cranberry scents. Um, I usually like pretty much all cranberry scents. So that smells nice. Yep, that smells nice. Okay. And then two others that I've never tried. Coconut lemongrass. Well, I'm struggling today. Coconut Bright Lemongrass. Let's see here. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I get those notes. Yeah, this is, this would be great on a cleaning day. God, I hate to clean. Jeez, I hate cleaning. Brad's kind of our cleaner because he's retired. So, and it's so funny. I've always said he starts cleaning things. Not that I don't want to or I wouldn't, but it's like he has it done before I even think to do it. So, and then I grabbed a blue grotto, fresh tropical notes, citrus, and lush botanicals. I, I do like this one. How strong is this one, guys? It kind of smells like it might be a, a pretty strong one. I think I only have one bar. I might have to, to get some more of this. It's Stays around though, right? Doesn't this one stay in the catalog or it has for quite some time? Um, okay, so I got a few of the Bring Back My Bars that I didn't get in my last order. And one of them that I really wanted was back ordered or out of stock, so I had to throw it in my club and that was the flower shop one. So I won't get that one until March unless it comes back and I can somehow get it in February. But I grabbed the Cucumber Lime You know, I don't mind this at all. I don't know. I don't know what I would do with it. I, I want to, I think I need to mix this with something. Anybody got a mixer for cucumber lime? I don't know if I do or not. I've been writing a few things down. But if anyone's got one, would love to hear that. I grabbed a single warm pumpkin drizzle. Pumpkin and maple. I like this one. And I've said before, I'm not huge on pumpkin scents. I'm not huge on spicy pumpkin scents. To me, I like the maple in this one. And I liked that porch pumpkin. I think I really like that one too. So I just don't like the really spicy pumpkin scents. I grabbed another autumn road trip. I have a couple of these in my, I might just have one. I think actually, and I wanted to get two to do these in my open concept. Harvest apple, pear, and silver oak. I really like this one. I'm hoping this performs well. Yeah, it's got a, it really smells like fall to me. I think it's the, the harvest oak is what I'm really liking in this bar. I grabbed one, two, three, vanilla cinnamon maple. I really like this one. I'm a huge fan of maple and wax though. So yeah, I've never, I might have some more of these. I've never melted them. I'm assuming vanilla cinnamon maple. Or, yeah, I didn't even do scent notes, but I like that one. I like that one a lot. The cinnamon's not a spicy cinnamon, so. Okay, I picked up two of the hazelnut latte. I have not melted this one yet. I don't get a lot of coffee in this. I do like hazelnut. Like, I love that hug in a mug. I, I cannot explain to you how much I love that. I can't figure it out. But this is really nice. Um, so I think, you know, this might even be like a good kind of hazelnut bakery to mix with things. I don't know. I need to try it. 
I've thrown it in my club. I need to try it and see if it really does anything for me as a mixer. Mixer, I don't think it's not going to be a type of coffee scent that I that I enjoy. But as a mixer, if it does good, I'll keep it. If it doesn't, if I don't think it really adds a lot, I'll take it out of my club. I grabbed another Woodland Suede. This one, Tranquil Wooded Wonderland, Red Oak, Cedar, Suede Musk, and Winter Lemon. I think I've said it before, it's that lemon, I think, that really makes us a standout. Yeah, this is really nice. I think that is so pretty. Picked up another Cashmere and Corduroy, Creamy Vanilla, Bergamot, and Sandalwood. This is a Brad scent. Brad would love this. This may get shipped to the basement for when he's down there. Uh, okay, I got two salted caramel toffees. This, I think this is kind of a no-brainer on scent notes, isn't it? I really like this too, and I don't think I've ever melted this. I've really got to get going on some of my Scentsy, but, you know, it, it tends to last longer, and I'm wanting to use up some vendor wax, but... I gotta stop. I gotta start using this stuff. Yeah, this smells like caramel toffee. I really like it on cold. We'll see if it does anything for me on warm. Uh, flirtatious, one of the new Bring Back My Bars. Green apple, grapefruit, and white amber. This is... Hmm. I think this is very pretty on cold. Not what I thought with those scent notes. Not what I thought. I don't get grapefruit. I don't know that I get green apple. I get more of just a light, pretty floral. I, this isn't something I'm going to have to have a ton of. Even, I, I don't think, even once I warm it. I'm sure it's not going to be something I'm going to say, oh, I got to have more of this. I grabbed a couple Polar Bear Hugs, uh, Caramelized Brown Sugar, Vanilla, and Amber. I love this. I mixed this with a Palo Santo. I also might have mixed this with Blackberry something once. I think this would be very good with maybe a Blackberry Spice or Blackberry Meringue. Yeah, I can't remember. It seems like I mixed it with something else once, too. I like this. This is in my club. I think this one is going to stay in my club for a bit. Uh, Pima Cotton, one of the new bars. Lily's Freesia and Jasmine. Yeah, this is um, a cotton, fresh cotton laundry type scent. I like it. I like laundry, though. I'm a big laundry fan. I have a ton of vendor wax laundry, so I don't think that I will need lots of that, but I'm glad to give it a try. Melon and Apple Granita, another one of the Bring Back My Bars. Crisp Apple Sweet Melon and Citrus. Um, you know, this smells good. Yeah, I get the melon. Melon and the apple, I like this. I think it's going to be a bedroom bathroom scent for me. There's no way that's going to work in my open. But it smells nice. Grabbed another Bright Cider Life. And can you see? I've got, I have a couple bars, uh, clamshells that are broken. Nothing like I've seen from some other people. Some other people have just gotten really crappy clams. Uh, spiced Harvest Cider Pumpkin and Red Apple. I like this one. I got one of these in one of my last orders, so I need to give it a try. Yeah, I like this one. It's not as um, spicy cider as some of the others. Yeah, I like that one. It's probably my favorite of the cider that we had. Okay, so I got a white amber and silk and a white amber and teak. The white amber and silk is amber, bergamot, and cotton. Yeah, and can you can you see there where this clam is like really flimsy and let's see here. Try to get 
try to get this out without breaking. This is definitely a very sophisticated scent. I'm thinking the cotton makes it a little laundry. I think I like this one better, White Amber and Teak. It's Amber, Teak, and Bergamot. This is definitely something that would be great in my basement. Brad would really like this. Amber and Bergamot, he really likes. You definitely get a little of that teak in there too. Yeah, I like this one. I like the white amber and teak better than the white amber and silk. Picked up another winterberry apple tea. Uh, I have enough of these now. I need to melt them and see what I think. Cranberry apple and honey. This is nice. I, um, I hope it's a good performer. Because yeah, this is just a really sweet... The honey sweetens up the cranberry. Like I said, I love cranberry and scents, so I like that. And then I grabbed two more of Blue Sage and Tonka. Let's see. Midnight Sage, Black Lavender, and Tonka Bean. Is this one? I thought I had one that was book. Maybe not. I do like this. Somebody else really likes this too. Yeah, um, I'm gonna try this in my open. I'm gonna do both bars in my open concept and give those a try. Cause I really like this on cold a lot. So that is my crazy, um, <laughs> sensey party closing. I think I'm keeping myself open in February to another flash sale. I, I'm wondering with the new catalog coming in March, if we might have another flash sale. So I'm staying open, otherwise, I think I'm good to go. So I don't, even though everything is gonna be 10% off, right now I really don't need anything unless I would get some more laundry products that they might be um, discontinuing, but I might just hold out for a flash sale, guys. I'm thinking I might, but we'll see. Um, so that's it, happy Saturday. Uh, we're gonna go to dinner tonight. We'll have one kid's coming home to visit grandma and so then we're gonna, we have to meet another kid cause she's getting ready to go on a trip and take her some clothes from home. So we're gonna meet her halfway in the town where her brother goes to school. And so we're gonna get to see three kids in one trip. So yay, that, that is a win for us. Anytime we can get more than one kid, <laughs> um, anytime we can see more than one kid at a time, we consider that a win. So everybody have a great weekend and um, I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.